said, you know, you want to think about it in terms of like, you know, your right side, your left side. Yeah. And that's going to make everything so much more efficient when you're getting around as opposed to like, you got a kit like this size and you're coming down and let's say like a lot of times you'll be on a set, we may only have a few symbols. Now, yeah. if you got crashes over here, you can just reach over here, that's fine. <laughs> but if your crash is over here, you want to hit this crash, yeah. then, you know, yeah, it doesn't you want to go. Especially coming off of the tour time, you want to just have it to where like, if there's a feel that you do, uh, to where it's like, you want to get it to where you have a different orchestration of it, where instead of like right left on the end, you could like right right, and then come back on that on the left. <clears throat> Plus, it'll 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 help you maximize it max you maximize efficiency and your timing. Your timing will be like a lot. Yeah, better. Not better, yeah. Yeah, because you don't have to. same thing with like even like your symbol height. If your symbols are a certain height, um, if it works for you, fine. It looks very cool to reach. But at the same time, uh, some of the times if your symbols are high, it can be throwing you off your time because you have to reach uh, that uh, far the distance that you want to hit that symbol. Yeah. <clears throat> so those are things to keep in mind. So try this real quick. We're gonna play a basic fill. Is that again? All right. Now, so what's going to happen is when you get to the floor tom, instead of playing the right left, you're going to play right right. So basically, it's a paradiddle. Uh, That'd be a three and a four and a four. And two and three and four and one and two and three. 